today, we will, what we will be doing is building a railway from Boxton City, main city, in my, in my, on my transport field 2 map, and extending it from Callington all the way to some new stations. We are here, sat in front of 66615, a 66 operated by Deutsche Bahn Schenker. This is the rescue unit on online layouts. Today, we will be building, as I've already said, the railway from Callington, from Callington further beyond. I will take you through a guide of what of the trains I have on my layout on this um, piece of track. We have an LNER class 801 or 800-1. We have Virgin HSC which is buffered. So number so it is normal power car and and buffered power car. Here is a one eighty, which is very noisy. And over here we have a consist of three three fifties and this is Boxton City, the main area on this main line. Boxton Central, the terminus, is just around the corner. Here are two class 170s, both in cross country livery. Here, are, here is a set of EMR 810s with that only 801 800 in the background. I don't know where my other class 350 has gone. It is on, meant to be on line 4. Ah, it is a box and city. Heading for Callington, but we will refrain from doing that. What we will start doing is start is carrying on with the um, main line. I've already done a bit of this main line, uh, carrying it on from Callington. I've not gone far. Actually, yes, I kind of have. <laughs> Um, and we'll do it there. This railway is kind of low from here, but then it goes into a like that. And then we have this massive, wonderful viaduct that we go over. I also made some, I will also be making some um, roads and like, um, uh, like motorways and that, all, all that jazz. What I'm going to have to do is delete that road and then redirect it. And we are now at the town of Shepshed. A few skyscrapers are here, so this station this station needs to be big. It's not going to be very big. I now actually have some uh, flying junctions. With some more depots and... Uh, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll go for a network southeast station. Actually, no passenger station but what we'll have is some passenger tracks go for four platforms and 320 meters to fit the um, and we'll go for that and what I will do is I will configure this station 
and delete this platform if it will let me the reason why I'm deleting these pla this platform is these two tracks will be um, high speed tracks game is lagging quite substantially because it, we are in a town and I'm building a station and deleting stuff right, I'm right in it. We'll put a new station building in of course and we'll d redirect the road we deleted at that viaduct to bring it across the railway here or we'll put it over the railway. So that was gone, uh, almost, and then you put that, like that, and then that, that, and that, 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 and delete these. What we will do is delete these canopies so we'll give it a new roof. Uh, like that. And then once it senses that I'm hovering my mouse over that, like that. And we will delete that. And we will delete. So, and then we'll, we'll delete that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. And that one. And then that's done. So we're going to miscellaneous. We have um, some some track crossings, but we won't use them today. We have our um, over. We have our modern station roof, which is large. So then it's like that over the entire station. So then nothing gets wet, and then no passengers get wet when they're in the station. Plus, it will also make the station look quite grand. And there we go. That is the station done as of there. Now, what we will do is add a number of ticket machines around the front entrance of the station just here just there uh, if it will censor it. and just there and we'll put them just here as well if, hang on and go on. Yep, like that. Put some benches down as well. With uh, shelters. So the passengers don't get wet. Well, they won't get wet with all these roo with this roof. twice and then put that down oh I see I don't think I have put 
electrification down, but I think I might be wrong. No, I didn't put electric electrification. I will now have to do this and then convert it. Let's bring electrification into the station. There. So the station is now almost, is now virtually complete. There. There is already a level crossing here, but I will delete that. And then we'll go this way with that road. And then we will get. Oh, I have some. F a new I have new fences now as well. We we'll get country lane to bring it across to there. There. So now this crosses the railway, which is being built. So we'll have a fence. And then we're not doing it like that because this is not a road. And then what we will do is we'll bring this uh, across there until there. I think that is connected. Yes, it is. So that is now fenced, so nobody can trespass along there almost. that will do nothing so then we will change the crossing to two track so then what we'll do is we'll have two tracks going across there because that fence these two fences also help with, tre with anti-trespassing so that bit is now done that is fenced so now we can carry on with the fencing as of here. What we'll do is we'll change fence. We'll go to an actual concrete fence. And yeah, there. Now that is fenced, almost. Not many trespassers will be able to get onto the railway. is now like that so nobody can get up unless they do it like this
we need it up until the end of the grass there like that it won't it will be hard to climb this anyway so I don't know why you would try and trespass like that that fence is now joined That is all fenced. I will now fence the other side. What's it? Ah, that's colliding with the actual railway line. Hardly see through these trees. Hardly see. Going to delete some of these. Hang on. Terrain assets and then erase. Brush size that big. So I'm just erasing all of these trees quickly. To then give me space so I can see what I'm doing. I've just think I've just realised I need to level this piece of um, ground out. What is that? It's a big mount in the in the um in the you know right in the ground. Anyway, moving on. There, that's done. So now, and I will need to fence this bit as well, with the same exact fence. not going to go across the road because that's stupid across the railway because that's stupid um put it to there and then drag it up to there so now nobody can trespass on this bit of the railway only that bit is fenced on though so s people can still trespass Look here. But we don't need that yet, there just yet. I've just realised we don't need this bit. <laughs> we don't need this bit because we have that, those tracks there as well. So. So now, what I'll do is I'll bring these two tracks out. Now, 
bring this across. And yes, I am in sandbox mode, which means I have unlimited money. And we have an auto save, which is good so then I don't lose my work. There, so that is in. So now we need to bring that over to that line. So these two lines are, in fact, the fast lines. Then these, these four are regional, so they're for like regional traffic. We will be doing the regional traffic once we have done the this part of the express traffic. That is from that path. Uh, there. And then bring this across. I want it to bend like that, and then it's a separate bridge. We need this doing that, and then this going. Oh no! Like that, and then into there. So now we can fence this bit on. We'll use a uh, blue fence. Actually, I uh, don't know. I'm thinking of using the wall. Just looking at all this, I don't didn't see this before. So they're red. So we'll need these, and then this is just a standard fence. Um, should we go with, we'll go with this, this fence. Actually quite a lot that fence. Stick with that fence. Stick with that fence going across on that side. facing the wrong entire way. Oh well, who cares? Um, now, then we need to do this side. With the blue fence. So now no one can get onto the railway as of there. And if they're a real genius, you can do it like that. But you can't. Haha. -ha. So that is done, that is railway protected at the minute, as of there. Uh I've just noticed that. 
That's odd. This, bi this viaduct is actually real twisty and bendy. Just notice that. Um, so now. There. <coughs> Oops. Uh, the construction ain't possible. We'll have to do it like that. And then we'll go around there. Do that. Unless you're a real genius and hop the fence, which I don't think you can. Yeah, there's spikes on there. So, wouldn't recommend hopping that fence. I think I should even this ground down a bit. Just evening the ground out. There. So now we can do the fencing along here. What we'll do is we'll do an actual wall. Actually, no. We'll do silver fence. We'll do green fence this time. Railway. Um, we need like that. And then it like that. Oops. Whoopsies. Yeah, we'll just do it like that. Can't do any more than that. Um, I don't think that ground can be even out much more. Along here, still, and that will now go here, down there. Oh, no, we don't want that going across. Actually, hang on, I've had an idea. If if I made a foot crossing somewhere along here.
Oh, where's my other 350s? There they are, finally. We got Project 110 on that. So 350 110. God, stop trying to go across the railway. You're a fence, not a road. I think these were made up out of the roads. I definitely, yeah, they were. Must have been. go into buildings on here we don't want that so I no that's not it hmm. I might just make just maybe put a station down no no, never mind. Um, anyway, that's all. F that's all fenced. And those two regional lines will go with these two. So we have at the minute all four express lines and three regional lines with an empty space there. Then we have our sixty-six, six one five, one six five there still. Um, um, and I think that concludes today's episode. So, if you've enjoyed this episode, um, please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, make sure to go and uh, comment what you thought of this video in the comments. Duh, that's what they're called. And, um, uh, yeah, I am Eastwoodland's Train Spotting, and I am out of here.